Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today, we're gonna have a top tip special. Yeah, special, we've never had a special before. And this is gonna be on the topic of tape. Which tape to use, where, and, uh, and then the second part of this top tips special will be how to remove sticky residue left behind by tape. Okay, so we have assembled here a few different types of tape that you may find yourself using on your boat. Starting at this end, we have, we have and this is the curveball in the fleet, this is video tape. So we've broken this out of a, a video cassette VHF and this is not sticky. So uh, this is not actually particularly relevant for this. We use this as wind indicators on the boat, but we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, the next one and perhaps the most commonly found in the boat park is electrical tape. This is a tape that was uh, invented for use with electrical things, but it's very well used in the boat department. We use this for taping up uh, split rings and various items that we can wrap it round and round. That's the way that we'll be successful with the electrical tape. And this is good if we want to be able to remove it afterwards. Uh, very good electrical tape, definitely something you should have in your sailor's toolkit. Maybe even a roll in your buoyancy aid when you go out sailing or your old, your old roll in your buoyancy aid, nice. Next, this is quite exotic. This is self amalgamating tape, uh, quite expensive, cheaper. Um, self amalgamating tape basically I believe the word is amalgamates to itself like self amalgamating and creates like a rubber boot that will encase whatever you wrap this round when you stick it to itself so very good but this does create a more permanent taping so if you're taping up uh, perhaps your shroud split rings for the whole season then this would be quite a good choice as long as you don't want to be able to get it off in a hurry you'd have to cut it off with a knife next this is extra wide clear tape uh, this is very cheap uh, don't use it on a boat uh, if you're going afloat this is for anything you're going to put in the bin or if you're going to send a parcel in the post but you don't have parcel tape Pretty similar, except it's brown. Um, parcel tape, quite traditional for sending parcels, hence the name. Uh, definitely, if you're putting something in the bin, use parcel tape to tape it up, but do not use it on your boat. And then finally, we have gaffer tape or duct tape, depending on what you'd like to call it. This is quite expensive, uh, and this is handy for using where you want coverage, but you're not wrapping round, such as the hounds fitting. If you've got a spinnaker on your boat and you don't want to have your spinnaker catching on the shackle at the top of the mast or um, on the rigging, you can do a clear cover with gaffer tape and that will keep things safe. But because it is quite expensive, don't use it on anything that is going to go in the bin, unless you have too much money and you just want to throw it in the bin. Um, yeah, so there we are, gaffer tape. Also, gaffer tape is good if you've perhaps hurt your leg and you want to strap it up and get back out into the field, using gaffer tape is uh, an option there. I believe they use it in the military for s patching people up quickly and sending them back out. I also heard that gaffer tape was uh, known as thousand mile an hour tape uh, in the aviation business because you can put it on the wings of your airplane and it will stay on. So gaffer tape is pretty good stuff. But if you're wrapping round and round, then don't use the gaffer tape. Use the electrical if you want to be able to get it off or the self amalgamating if you want it to be more permanent. So here we are, we're actually going to do a test to see if we're gonna wrap it round. So here's the example with the electrical tape. We'll just wrap that around the mast and we'll pull it to snap it. That is the beauty 
of the electrical tape. Next. That's the cellar tape, yeah, clear tape. We're gonna stick a bit of that on and let's wrap that round. Like say we were gonna use that to wrap up our rigging and then we'll just cut it with a knife like that. Some people use their teeth to cut that. That is uh, frowned upon by the dental profession. Okay, next, parcel tape, yeah. Similar to the clear tape there, the cellar tape as we'd call it in the UK. Same with the knife. Now for this test, we're not gonna use the self amalgamating ta tape because it won't actually stick unless we go all the way round and then that is just a waste because this is expensive. Okay, so uh, three days have passed since I applied the tape, the various tapes to the mast. So now we're gonna go for uh, taking the tape off the masts and seeing what they leave behind. All right, let's go. Okay, so already you might be able to see uh, there's one extra tape that I've added here which wasn't included and that was uh, quite a mistake and that is masking tape which is of course used widely by decorators to avoid painting on areas where you don't want to get paint but um, good also for doing repairs to the boat also good for labeling things but that's where it gets used a lot around here and it leaves it does leave a mark so which one should we start with Let's start with the electrical tape. So I'm just using a Stanley knife blade. I'm just gonna move the whole center of operations here a little bit. So I'm using a Stanley knife blade just to cut the tape and we'll use this to get under it where we need to. So the electrical tape is coming off quite easily. And after three days, just a bit of edge there where we have had some fairly dirty rain which has left a bit of a mark there. All right, so next, the clear cellar tape. We'll get this off. Hopefully it'll come off in one go. There we go, you can see it's leaving some sticky residue from the clear cellar tape there just after three days. Probably even after immediate application it might leave some sticky residue. Next the parcel tape proving a little bit tricky to get hold of yeah so we've got some brown marks being left behind there not ideal all right the gaffer tape thousand mile an hour tape coming off okay that's not too bad so after a few days the gaffer tape is coming off quite well but I could tell you from experience if we left the gaffer tape on for longer it would leave quite a mess all right now the masking tape this hasn't been on for quite as long but still oh yeah not long enough to leave the sticky residue so I think what this has proven is that the parcel tape is by far the worst electrical tapes the best the clear tape almost as bad as the parcel tape for leaving stuff behind and these two gaffer and masking they're gonna leave more of a mark over a longer period of time uh, which I have learned from experience Okay, so we're going to look at how we can clear up, clean up this bit of mast now that it's got sticky residue on it. So we're going to need some stuff. Okay, so I've got a few options here. Um, we've got our special salad dressing, vinegar and lemon uh, potion. We'll see how that does. We've also got everybody's favourite, WD-40. And then we've got the curveball which is easy clean extreme chain degreaser which is uh for bicycles uh, there's also you can get this for motorbikes cars stuff which gets a lot of grease on it 
uh, this is actually what I've been using most for this application but we'll come on to that in a second so we'll just have a quick poke with the uh, special potion yeah as expected no real results in cutting through there next the WD-40 we'll just do this on the um, clear where the clear tape's been so that we can still have enough to do a good test on the next bit yeah so again not great there it's not really doing the, the business I'll just carry on while we're here see that residue from the electrical tape off very easily in comparison all right so now we'll, we'll select a clean bit of cloth for a fair test and now we'll use the degreaser yeah and you can really see that that is just cutting through there straight away and it's uh this is a citrus flavor as well so uh we really are lemon fresh let's try this on where the clear tape was just in case that tape is more stubborn yeah so it's shifting it better than the wd-40 so there we go there is the evidence that something like this is going to be what you need for getting rid of sticky residue uh, and in fact this is really good for cleaning the whole mast or pretty much everything metal um, if uh, you don't want to be making the vinegar lemon solution if uh, you want to know where to find this sort of stuff you can head over to my um, I've got an amazon.com uh, I think they call it a storefront where I recommend products and if you buy a product through there then it means I get a little bit of commission uh, which is nice for me and it's nice for you because it means you don't have to go searching for stuff you can just find it because I've already found it for you uh, it's exactly the same price as it would be normally except I get a bit of commission from that so you can find uh, degreaser and other products in my Amazon storefront just check out the link below so I'm just going to finish giving this a good clean up here with the degreaser you can see the evidence of the tape is just coming away so even though we can clean the tape quite nicely the residue off it's still better to use tape that doesn't leave a mark because then you don't have to put the effort in cleaning it up okay so there we go we have a clean a clear winner okay so here we go um we're gonna look at the application of tape uh on the boat so i've got two different types of tape we're going to use we've got the self amalgamating tape like this and electrical tape like this so i'm just switching to head cam Okay, so here we've got the uh, okay, so here we've got the shroud adjuster on the Hobie Pacific. Um, the electrical tape we're going to use where we're more likely to be moving, uh, having to take it off again. So, oh, this tape is in a bit of a mess. So we'll just tidy this up a bit first because we don't want that sort of half bit. So electrical tape, we can just snap like that, which is quite handy. And then what we're gonna do is we've got our split ring here. And we're just gonna put tape on to make sure that split ring can't come out. So the way we're working with the electrical tape is to stick it onto itself. I'm just going around there twice. And then by snapping it, stretching it to snap it afterwards, uh, that means that it's going to have stuck to itself really well and we can see that that split ring can't come out 
and then we've got our shroud cover here which these can be there we go so that just goes over the top now with this bottom one it's more likely this bottom one we're never going to have to take out until we come to drop the mast and one little top tip here is with the with the rings we can see that isn't quite straight with the fitting so it's going to stick out the side a bit which is going to make it tricky getting this cover over so so there we are i've just pulled a little bit of tension with the trapeze so now that is in line with everything else and that's not going to stick out so i've already pre-cut i like to cut this with scissors other people just like to snap it but i think we get a bit of a tidy result with the scissors we try to keep this clean because this will stick to itself and we just have to peel the backing off which is quite tricky okay so we'll take that off like that and now we'll put it on here where it's a bit narrower and the way that this works is we really want to stretch it as much as possible and then it will form a fairly permanent bond to itself which is great if we're not wanting to take that off and then I'll just get that with the edge and now we can bring the cover over there and there we are lovely so that's the two different types of tape of course if you haven't got self amalgamating tape more electrical tape on the bottom will do and um, it is worth checking these every time before you go out sailing to make sure that the tape is still good because if nothing else it will give you peace of mind that you're not going to lose the mast by a split ring dropping out So there we go that's all i've got about tape just now and uh stuff as i mentioned earlier i have set up a storefront in amazon so if you want to get hold of any of the stuff that i've been using in this video just check out the link below to amazon and whatever else it says um that maybe it's a total joyrider amazon uh storefront and i've put on there different types of tape as well which i found on amazon which i think are the best deals there and if you do buy something from my amazon storefront then that means that i just get a little bit of commission which is very nice of course for me and it's not like anything's going to be more expensive for you so just head over there i've done the poking around for you so you can just get it there so thanks very much for watching. There will be more coming soon. Hope this has been informative. Again, if you have any uh, ideas or how you use your tape on your boat, just put it in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.